We pick up this game in the first half with Barsippany Hills holding a 1-0 lead under the lights here at Mountain Lakes. And watch Mountain Lakes send it in the chip, but it goes high and it stays 1-0 Par Hills. Mountain Lakes gets another opportunity here. Watch Thompson Hill with the rocket that just goes high. Mountain Lakes still trails 1-0 to the Vikings. Parsippany Hills creates a chance here in the box, but watch Mountain Lakes goalie Antonio D. Bonaventura come out and make the stop to keep it 1-0. Parsippany Hills puts together a nice opportunity here with a chance to make it 2-0, but Aiden Zatelli's shot goes wide for the Vikings. But the Vikings break through here for their second goal. Watch Jose Sanchez with the long free kick, and it's Edwin Aguirre collecting a loose ball, and he fires it into the back of the net, and it's 2-0 Parsippany Hills at the half. Second half we go and the Lakers have a corner kick, but the header goes high and remains 2-0 for Symphony Hills. At the Mount Lakes missed a PK, the Lakers are unlucky again. Watch Andrew Spato hit the post before Parsippany Hills goalie Rahman Saeed stops Tim Jansen to keep the shutout going. Good job there by the Vikings. The Lakers get a free kick from keeper Antonio D. Bonvenatora, who sends in the blast, but watch Parsippany Hills defender Eric Holmstrom clear the area with the header. And Parsippany Hills keeper Rahman Saeed makes another save here for the Vikings as he was supposed to shut out as Par Hills blinks Mountain Lakes 2-0 here on opening night. It was our season opener. We came out strong. We put one in early. Um, we put one in to end in the second half. Second half we played mostly defensively. We dropped back. It was a solid game overall. All the, every single player on that team that played for us, we played excellent. And it goes to them, not me. It's a great win. Um, graduating a lot of kids and that's a great team. It felt good get the first one over with. And talk about your goal scorers today. Obviously, like you said, that first one was quick. The second one was a beauty. Yeah, uh, the first one, we always try to get one in, and then we drop back and play defense. Edwin Aguirre scored one. The second one was Christian Chant, which he, he's an excellent guy on the ball. Brilliant player. So is Edwin, and again, so is every kid on that team. Edwin, you're the second goal. Talk about putting it in. I was going to take the free kick, but then uh, my coach told me told Jose to take it. So, like, I went inside, and, you know, the ball just came to my feet. You know, turned around and I shot it, and it, luckily it went in. He's a heck of a player. Uh, he's really stepping up. We lost maybe our best player for the season, and uh, the only way we get him back is with States. And these boys are kind of really rallying around that, and Edwin had a heck of a game. And your goalie was huge, especially in the second half. Yeah, his first year as a varsity starter, he gets a shutout. And, uh, you know, he was nervous as anything. I think once he got the first save out of the way, it made things a lot easier the rest of the game. Moving forward off a big opening day win, how do you feel? Going forward, we got a couple – Tough games. We got a tough schedule. We obviously have uh, big teams in our conference. We got Mendham, Randolph. We played Del Barn twice. But uh, right now, we got to hit the field on Monday, focus on Randolph, and uh, go out and win that one just like we won this one. We got to keep working hard in practice and, you know, putting in their work. So hopefully, we can get W's, you know, <laughs> as you said. We don't play an easy game on the schedule. Everyone's a group three and a four, and um, we're just going to stick to what we've been planning on all preseason and, you know, do what we can.